Hi, I'm Sabrina Canessi, and I'm from Crittenden Middle School Library in Newport News, Virginia. And I am choosing to read A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. I think one of the things that Shel has done in his lifetime is he has written books that empower children to be themselves, express themselves, and build their own self-esteem in a world that they have to navigate through with adults when they tell them, no, you don't know, no, you can't think, and know that you're wrong. One of the poems that was criticized and challenged mostly in Shel Silverstein's book was how not to dry the dishes. Parents said that this taught children to misbehave. I said it taught them how to be creative. And like I said, innovative. And this is how the poem goes. If you have to dry the dishes, such an awful boring chore. If you have to dry the dishes, instead of going to the store, if you have to dry the dishes, and you drop one on the floor, <laughs> Well, maybe they won't let you dry the dishes anymore. And then my favorite, when I taught first grade, I swear to goodness I'm not going to read the whole poem, but in terms of creative and innovative thought, kids don't play imaginatively anymore. And this, song, this poem is about rock and roll band, and it goes like this. If we were a rock and roll band, we'd travel all over the land. We'd play and we'd sing and we'd wear spangly things. Why, if we were a rock and roll band. Hey, one more. If we were a rock and roll band and we were up there on the stand, the people would hear us and love us and cheer us if we were a rock and roll band. <laughs>